One of the most pressing issues taken up today in today's special session was about voting in the upcoming election. They discussed just how voting will work coming up in this November. A legislative special session started to create a plan for elections and how people will vote during the upcoming presidential election. The basic goal of this session is to adjust the mechanics of the election to make it easier for clerks in the light of the number of absentee ballots they will receive. Well, it's fully expected that there's going to be much more absentee by mail voting this year than, than previously, um, you know, more along the lines of what we saw in the primary. Um, but there are still folks that like to do it in person, and so they want to make sure they're offering that in-person option. Um, but they don't have enough poll workers because a lot of poll workers are senior citizens, people with health problems, people who do not want to be exposing themselves to thousands of people filing through. One major concern for in-person elections is finding workers to staff the polling locations. As many traditional poll workers are senior citizens who are vulnerable to COVID-19. Representative Jason Monks brought forward legislation that would pay for more poll workers, allowing the governor to give funds to counties to hire more poll workers, even suggesting the Idaho National Guard could help. We've heard from the county clerks that that's a problem and that's why we can't do in-person voting. We want to make sure that in-person voting takes place in November. It's very important to us. Two other pieces of legislation focus on voting centers and opening absentee ballots early. So they want to allow for some consolidating voting centers um, so they can have fewer locations for people to vote at but still have some in-person voting opportunity. Our constituents let us know after the May primary that they were very upset that they could not go down to their local poll and vote like they have done forever. Legislation was also brought forward to try and stop the governor from changing the date of the election or moving toward an all mail-in ballot election. We should be able to hire the poll workers. We should be able to have that process in, in a safe way and make sure that people can go to their polls and vote. The special session will continue to Tuesday and you can stay with Idaho News 6 for continued coverage on this. Live inside the State House, Nicole Camarda, Idaho News 6.